So for the last few episodes, I've really been hitting home the mindset shift that you are in control of your results. Sure, it's simple to say, and you may agree, but it's not necessarily easy to switch that shift in your mind to take responsibility for the actions and live it. So guys, in order to live it, it's going to require you to become more self-aware and pay more attention to your daily behaviors. And when I say self-aware, I mean really understanding the actions that you will have to take to reach your ambitions and your goals. So for example, if you see a lean and healthy looking person walking down the street and think, that's who I wanna look like, then you show up at the gym maybe once a week at best with no workout program and you don't track or measure the types and the quantities of food you're eating, but you think you're eating healthier because you've added a fruit smoothie into your diet, then, well guess what guys, your actions do not match your ambitions. And then after six weeks of doing this, you complain that you're going to the gym and eating healthy just don't work for you. Or it must be a thyroid problem, or maybe it's just bad genetics. Guys, life will give you clues if what you're doing isn't working. If you're weak, if you're overweight, if you're constantly tired, these are all clues that you need to make lifestyle behavioral changes. So just don't overlook the clues. Pay attention to them. So if you're going about your, your live lean journey on your own, pay attention to the results you're getting. So you're either moving towards better health, more energy, a smaller waistline, bigger and stronger muscles, or you're moving backwards, or you're just stuck at a plateau. Guys, over time, your results don't lie. The only way to change your results is to change your behaviors. In many cases, that means asking for help. So just like you would hire an architect to build your house, don't be afraid to hire a coach to help build your health and your body because that coach can give you a roadmap and a plan to follow to reach your goals. Then after following that plan, and yes, I mean following the plan, if something is not working, a coach can help you get clear on what you need to change, what you need to stop doing, and ultimately how to get out of your head. Coaches, they can provide the path to get you focused on what you need to pay attention to. So guys, this is the bottom line, this is the punchline. Don't look at your health as an expense. Look at it as an investment in your life. Health is wealth, people.